President Kennedy once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. On this Veterans Day, we must commit not only to express our gratitude to our veterans, but to also fulfill our nation's solemn promise. Just as the military pledges to leave no soldier behind on the battlefield, we must leave no veteran behind when they return home. How we care for our veterans is a measure of our character as a country. Since being elected to Congress, I have made it my priority to ensure that as a nation, we fulfill this promise to our veterans and their families. As the daughter, sister, and niece of veterans, I have seen firsthand the sacrifices of the men and women who serve our nation in uniform, as well as the often unseen and unrecognized sacrifices of their loved ones who uplift and support them throughout their service. Without their selfless service, America would not have the liberties so many of us enjoy and often take for granted. Today, we pay tribute to these men and women who have served our country in defense of our values, our security, and our way of life. In Ventura County, Veterans Day perfectly illustrates our community's traditions and steadfast commitment to recognizing and honoring the men and women who have served our nation in uniform. As many of you know, Ventura County has a very long standing and rich military history. This is in large part due to the Naval Base Ventura County and its continued expansion and critical presence, not only in the region, but it has become an essential asset to our nation's national defense operations. With over 19,000 personnel working at the base, unsurprisingly, Ventura County has also become home to more than 40,000 veterans. I have often met veterans who have mentioned that at one point in their military careers, they were stationed here at Naval Base Ventura County and returned here to transition into their civilian life. Not only does Ventura County boast over 40 miles of beautiful coastline and a bountiful agricultural landscape, but Ventura County prides itself with having a strong sense of community for our veterans and their families. It is that ethos that also guides my work, both in Congress and in Ventura County. As chair of the House Veterans Affairs Health Subcommittee, I founded the Women's Veterans Task Force to acknowledge the fastest growing demographic within the veteran community, our women veterans. Currently, there are over 2 million women veterans living in the United States, yet their invaluable service is often overlooked and forgotten, leading these women to feel invisible. I'm working to change that. In fact, last year, we passed the Deborah Sampson Act to address many of the inequities and barriers that women veterans face. The Deborah Sampson Act recognizes and honors women veterans by ensuring inclusivity and equitable access to resources, benefits, and services. I am working with my colleagues in the Department of Veteran Affairs to ensure the successful impl implementation of this landmark legislation. And while my work on legislation is important, I am most proud of the work to bring an all new 50,000 square foot VA run community clinic to Ventura. For years, I fought to secure the authorization for this new facility, which represents a seven fold increase in size for our community clinic since the one Ventura County had when I was first elected. This significant expansion means more space for VA to hire additional healthcare providers to expand veteran services and to add more specialty care right here at home. Recently, VA Secretary Dennis McDonough and I toured the new site and I am so pleased to report that we are on schedule to open the doors of this state-of-the-art facility next summer. My, also, my office also continues to successfully help many veterans and their families receive the care and benefits they have so rightly earned and deserved. Through our work, we helped ensure that a 28-year-old Marine veteran received the prestigious Medal of Honor for his heroic actions during the Vietnam War. We helped a veteran receive a retroactive payment of over $380,000 that he had been waiting 
on for years. We helped keep a veteran and his family from becoming homeless. And we helped a veteran's spouse settle medical affairs and arrange funeral honors for her husband. It is through this work and through these actions that I say thank you for your service, not only on this day, but every single day. As we come together to honor our nation's veterans for their dedication to protecting our liberties, both at home and abroad, let us use their singular example, their singular purpose and sacrifice for a greater ideal to show love for our country and appreciation for that sacrifice by living up to their example in our own lives. Thank you very much.